I just got to the worst excuse for a skate park that I've ever seen. Actually, no, I have seen worse, but I just got to the Harrington Park Lake Skate Park. I don't know how this is possible, but this place costs $1,140,000 to build. I honestly don't know how it accumulated to such a high cost, but let me show you guys what's actually here so you can decide if it's worth over a million dollars or not. But I definitely don't think it's worth that much. So before this was a skate park, this used to be one long road leading from the main road, which led all the way down here to the car park that used to be at the end. That car park was for people coming here to visit the lake and do laps around the lake and stuff. If you actually look at it, you can tell that this used to be a road by the way the gutters are set up and that is actually asphalt that's been painted over. And then they've added different cement elements here so they can actually add obstacles to this place. So let's start the tour up the top now where the new car park is and then we'll work through all of the obstacles leading down to the main spot that people skate down the end there. So there's people sitting up there so I don't wanna go get up in their face, but that's the car park right behind those bushes. There's a top toilet block and then that leads into the first spot which is a flat ledge there and then these three humps I don't really need, even know what these are for and then continuing the road from those spots we've got all of these like ninja warrior style play equipment which is also included in the cost of this place to be fair so the one million one hundred forty thousand dollars includes obviously paving the new road the new obstacles and then all of the play equipment but if we move further down this obstacle is actually kind of cool, but it's never waxed. I think someone needs to come here and like wax this thing to make it cool, but it's a curved taco kind of thing, which is actually would be such a fun spot if people made it skatable, which maybe I'm gonna have to do. Leading down from that is the A-frame ledge, but I'm gonna tell you why a lot of this stuff isn't skatable in a second. Like it might look good, but this place is just horrible, but I'm gonna show you the obstacles first. So A-frame ledge is actually kind of sick. So there's a curb on this side that's coping all the way up and down, and you can even hit it on this side if you just wanna skate an up ledge. Moving down from the A-frame is more of this ninja climbing equipment and another flat ledge. So this one's identical to the one all the way at the top there. But if you guys take a look at this thing, you can just tell why it's unskatable. I don't think I need to show you the problems that are here. So after this ledge, we move down to what is the main part that we skate. I've been here a few times, we've skated this a lot. We've even got some clips in the Gobble Dock video on that ledge there. Actually, this thing here I need to think about. This is a nice long slappy curb and it curves all the way around. So this would be worth me coming back and like rub bricking and lacquering to get that thing going, but I'd have to dig out a bit of the bush and stuff too. But that might be another video. So there's like another big speed hump thing here, but this is the main feature of the area here. So it's a cool mellow bank to ledge. You can skate the main ledge or there's the smaller ledges on the side too or you could even use these as slappies slappy up that and then down that would be cool too so yeah this is the main obstacle we've filmed a few tricks on this and we'll put it in our street video so do you think this is a valid street spot the reason why we've counted it this is like a horrible almost diy style type of skate park and this ledge doesn't have coping on it so we've had to like rub brick it wax it and make it skatable to get those tricks so we figured it's rough enough to be a street spot so we added that into our street video but let me know what you guys think you guys might just think i'm tripping and being spoiled and just complaining saying this place sucks because it does actually look pretty fun. But let me show you why this place is such a waste of money. This place has just gone to shit, to be honest. Besides this main spot here, but all of these other things are almost unskatable. So let me show you why first. Like you guys might've noticed already, this ground is completely cracked and chipping apart. Whatever they did to seal the asphalt underneath and paint this place just did not work. And this kind of section here, they're sinking into the ground. Like these panels aren't even aligned anymore. And look at the massive gutter that's basically in here. You guys might have noticed this when I showed you the ledge already, but this is almost unskatable because you can't even get to it. The only way you can skate the ledge is if you come from here, you can run through this part and skate at my backside on this side because you can't really get to it this way because this crater is just way too big. The same thing's happening over here where the A-frame is. I don't know if you can tell, but that whole panel there has like sunken in. So there's a big crack there when you're trying to ride up this side to hit the A-frame. On this side, it's not quite as bad, but you can tell that that panel is separated anyway, the one that leads to that. So that's eventually gonna sink further down and this will be unskatable because you won't even be able to ride up it. But to be fair, this one looks pretty sweet because the joint is closer to the actual cement that they've made but there is a panel there still. I don't know why the panels are cracking like that, but that panel also is eventually gonna sink down and not be able to skate this thing too. All three of those humps behind me as well are elevated and they're starting to crack as well. So it's only a matter of time before they become unskatable and the ledge up the top there has the same problem as the ledge down the bottom. It's on a separate panel and that gutter has kind of sunken in. So it's almost unskatable because you can't even ride over it properly to get to the ledge. To be fair, this place did open six years ago, but I've never seen any skate park fall apart, start to crack and the panels come unplaced like this. The problem I think is that they try 
tried to build a skate park on top of a road that already existed. They didn't lay the proper foundations and slabs to build a skate park on top of. But even if they did, this place still isn't worth over a million dollars. I still don't know how it was possible for this place to cost so much for how little is actually here and how poorly it's built too. So I'm starting to feel kind of bad. I'm saying nothing but bad things about this place. So I'm gonna try and skate everything that's here and try and find some positives of this place. I know the bank to ledge is fine. We'll skate that a fair bit, like I said, but I'm gonna try and skate some of the other obstacles and just come away with a positive experience in this place. But after seeing this whole place, let me know what you think. Is this worth $1,140,000? Because I've seen skate parks that are built way better than this for half the price of that. But let's start cleaning this area up and get a session going. Take that. There is a lot more tricks I wanted to do on this ledge today, but this is literally all the wax that I have today, so I need to use it sparingly. So let's go and hit the ledge. Oh, that is awkward with that bush right there. Probably have to ollie over the top to get it. Oh, I feel like such a cheater ollieing over the top. Like it's not exactly backside. I'm kind of like a neutral grinding it. Oh, Jesus. See, this big fat crack isn't that bad to roll this way. If you roll down it, there's no way you're coming this way. What the hell was that? What the? Damn, that was a struggle. I know I just battled to get a back 50, but I really feel like nose grinding this thing. It's a really good height for a nose grind, so let's see how that goes. I almost feel like nose grind will be easier because I can come over the top and I just have to worry about my front truck instead of like thinking about my back truck getting hooked. I'll commit first day, but we'll see what happens. Whoa! All right. These ace trucks go too. They grind so well, especially on that concrete ledge that I started on. The grind sounded so good. I do back nose grinds a lot, so I should get it within three tries. Oh no. <laughs> I don't usually go over the top for nose grinds though. I'd come at it like legit backside. Oh, I'm missing the coping like I did with the 50. Oh no. Oh, there we go. Finally grinded. There we go. That felt good actually. That sucked, but it was actually kind of fun because of how hard it is to try and hit this ledge. It feels like a legit street spot. Like it's really close to the bush, the big landing patch that I can only skate it one way. So it kind of makes you think of how to skate the spot rather than just hitting it smoothly like a skate park ledge. So that was actually kind of fun, just the challenge of it. Now there's people up at the top ledge, which I wasn't gonna skate anyway because it's the exact same ledge as this and it's probably harder to get to, but I think I'm gonna skate the A-frame next, but I might have to end there because this is literally all the wax that I have left now. So I'm not gonna be able to skate that long curved curb. So I'm gonna have to finish the session on the A-frame. Grinding up and across will be cool on this side actually. Board slide up and across. I just hope that I've got enough wax for that. But um, yeah, let's try and hit the board slide out of the bank here. I've got deck rails and there's metal on either side. So this should work pretty well, hopefully anyway. Everything here is just so crusty because no one really skates it. Not a lot of people even know this place exists. I went street skating on the weekend and I left my wax in my camera bag. So that's why I only had this little bit. So that's completely my fault, but the deck rails should be the savior on this one. Kind of want to make sure I'll slide through that concrete. Oh, good. Oh. Yeah, we're easy. I wish I had more wax because I'd love to board slide up and then down. I'd have to come back another day for that one. Jeez, is that slippery actually? Let's try and get a cleaner one. I always wax this shit out of stuff and then get surprised that it's so slippery. That's fun. I really wish I had more wax so I could go up and then down. This side would be sweet. Man, 
I might try it actually. This side's super slick, so I should be able to get up it fine. And hopefully the wax that's on my rails on the other side, like this will be so slippery that I should just take me down. We'll give it a few tries. This is the end of the session here anyway, so might as well try and finish with something cool. I'll try the same thing just to make sure. Getting up should be fine and then, oh, yep. That's definitely happening. My legs are still pretty cooked from skating the other day, so hopefully I can ollie that high. Oh, it's not that high. I think that other ledge is the same height or even lower. Just gotta make sure I transfer my weight over properly because right there, the peak is touching the deck rails, in between the deck rails. So that could get hooked like that on my hillside deck rail. That wouldn't be fun. Should be sweet though. All right, let's get it done. Oh, yeah, it's not that high. My back's hurting too, man. Skating in your 30s gets rough. Oh no, I thought it was gonna go back down. All right, I was going pretty slow then and I made it three quarters up. So a lot faster to get over that peak. Oh, my truck touched it. Oh no, my truck got on again. Oh my God, I ruined it. <laughs> oh, we got it though. Just need to clean that up. That's so fun. Done. That's it. That felt really good too. Such a fun obstacle. So I'm gonna need way more wax for this obstacle to be skated. Might even need a rub brick too, because it's pretty rough still. So we're not touching that today. All the people that were sitting up here left, but I'm still not gonna skate that because it's exactly the same ledge as the one down the back. But I guess I'll just ride over these humps just to show you guys what they are, and then let's get out of here. So this place totally sucks, and there's no way on earth that this is worth $1,140,000. But to be completely honest, I had a lot of fun here today. It always seems that if I'm going somewhere that I know is shit, I don't have any expectations and I know I'm gonna have a bad session and not enjoy myself. So I end up just mucking around, seeing what's gonna happen and I actually end up having a lot of fun, which is exactly what happened today. So I'm not gonna discredit this place completely. The bank to ledge at the back is really fun. That A-frame is actually really cool. I've never skated that before. I wouldn't mind coming back and trying to grind up and across like back 50 or nose grind or crooked grind or something, or even grinding up halfway and then popping off at the top. That as well as the taco bank to curb and the long curb that's here as well. A lot of these things could be prepped and made really fun and really skatable. But that is a lot of work that's gonna be involved to do all that. So let me know what you guys think. Is this worth over a million dollars? Have you guys been here? It's only five minutes down the road from Oran Park Skate Park. I haven't been here a lot, but I've been here a fair few times and it doesn't get any better. If anything, it's getting worse. The ground keeps sinking and these cracks and holes just become worse. So maybe making this video will create some awareness for the council to come and repair this place. Who but it's completely up to you guys if you want to come out of your way to skate this place. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. I actually had a fun session. I'm still super sore from skating on the weekend, so it's nice to have a cool, chill session like this, but still skate. So if you did enjoy this video, check out the video I did at Gregory Hills right here, where they have these random as obstacles out in a random park, similar to this. It's just a long path through a park, and then there's like a pole jam, a flat bar, and some other obstacles. So check that out here. Let me know how much you think this park should have cost, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.